Welcome to the Tech Equipment VDAS eLab Quick Start Guide for Students. During this video, I'll be showing you how to download, install, and connect remotely to a live VDAS enabled physical experiment from Tech Equipment. At the very end of this, you'll be up and running and connecting to that experiment remotely from anywhere in the world in your home office with a one megabit internet speed. Before we begin, you need to make sure that you have either Windows 8 or Windows 10 installed on your computer. Now let's go through the stages. Stage 1, download VDAS eLab. Visit techquipment.com slash downloads and pop open the VDAS section. There are two versions to choose from depending on whether you have Windows 8 or Windows 10. So go ahead and click on one of those links. A pop-up appears, just add your details and then press the download button. Just to reassure you, we don't use these details for anything apart from to notify you when there is a new version of the software available. Unless, of course, you select the option to get marketing communications. On to the setup now. Head over to Downloads Location on your computer and extract the zip files. Double click on it to run the executable file and then click the box to agree to the licensing conditions and click Install. When the installation is complete, we're launched. Stage 2, launching VDAS eLab. Click on the icon from your desktop or start menu. If your experiment is not already selected, select options and choose the VDAS application, i.e. the piece of apparatus that you're going to be running from the drop-down menu. Stage 3. Connecting up to the live VDAS experiment to get your live experiment data. Within the VDAS software, select Connection, then Communication Settings. At this point, you select the Remote Participant tab and select the option here to connect to a shared experiment. The person running the physical experiment, maybe it's your tutor or another student, will provide you with the unique shared ID. Put that in here and add your name here. Then click the apply button. This will connect you to the cloud-based server. When the connection is done, there will be a tick right here. Well done, you are now connected to the live experiment and can start recording and analyzing experiment results. Your name and your last seen time will be logged in this box here. You are running your own session of VDAS, independent to other students that have joined the session. The data you record and analyse can only be viewed by you unless you choose to download and share the files. Your tutor may ask different people to capture data at different times and carry out alternative analysis tasks during your lesson. For an introduction to these basic controls, check out the VDES familiarisation video on YouTube. I hope you found this video useful. There is also one available for tutors to get them up and running so that they can physically connect a physical piece of experiment with VDAS eLab so that they can stream remotely live to you anywhere in the world. If you're not already doing so, you might like to subscribe to the Tech Equipment YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.